truly sorry if you are not a Christian boy, you know, because I'm used to that praise the Lord each time I hold the mic and I've forgotten that this is uh, this is an offering, but it's still it's still part of service to God. Yes, so I I welcome you all to this gracious occasion. I welcome the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords first, and I welcome our amiable fathers, amiable mothers here, most especially uh, our spiritual mother, um, Reverend Captain Mother, mm -hmm. Esther Phillips, a.k.a. Kimanarim. I welcome you, ma. And I also welcome our mother, the mother of the day here, uh, that is uh, ably represented by Mrs. Goshi Emmanuel. I welcome you. Uh, the mother of the day is Hadia Lamet Tumanka. I welcome you. Bless you, ma. I welcome also our daddy, Reverend Professor Nosawu. God bless you, sir. And uh, our amiable fundraiser, uh, Reverend Mother Prophetess uh, Moduba Silva, aka Goswe from social media. Everybody call her Goswe. I welcome you. All our daddies and also our mother from uh, Lagos State uh, Welfare and uh, Child Development. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Our mother, uh, Mama, Mama, Jonama, Kuku, and every one of you and members of the press. Uh, it is with great honor I welcome all our distinguished friends, families of our home here today. The official and the and the award ceremony of Rock of Peace Mother's Day. This orphanage was founded with the vision and mission to demonstrate the love of God to vulnerable children. I am grateful to God for making this a sign. It's an assigned vision for making this assigned vision come into reality. Last year, end of March 2021, as one of my service to humanity. Psalm 41, 1 to 3 says, Blessed be the man who remembers the poor in the time of trouble. I shall deliver them. In one way or the other, my amazing mommies and daddies, brothers and sisters, have been very, very supportive by putting smile on the faces of the children of Rock of Peace Mother Lesson. I want to thank you all and let you know that we love you and we are glad that you came to celebrate with us today. I implore all our mommies and daddies here not to be too in a hurry as we celebrate this special occasion. Thank you once again for gracing this occasion. I highly appreciate your presence, despite very tight schedule of yours. Please feel comfortable and relaxed as we create a happy, memorable, a memorable time. God bless you all. Thank you very much. A round of applause. Uh, Mr. Jonathan Igwemi, the SO of Energy. Daddy, can, you can please can you come forward. A round of applause for the representing the legal commander. This. You are welcome, sir. A round of applause very well for our for mother. The Bible reading for today is Psalm 41, verse 1 to 13. Verse 1. Blessed is he that considereth the poor, the Lord will deliver him in time of trouble. Verse 2 The Lord will preserve him and keep him alive, and he shall be blessed upon the earth, and thou wilt not deliver him unto the will of his enemies. 3 The Lord will strengthen him upon the bed of languishing, thou, thou will make the all, all his bed in his sickness. 4 I said, Lord, be merciful unto me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. Five, my enemies speak evil of me. When when shall he die and his name perish? Six, and if he come to see me, he speaketh vanity, his heart gathered iniquity to itself. When he goeth abroad, he telleth it. Seven, 
all that hate me, whisper together against me. Against me do they devise my heart. Eight, an evil disease said him, cleaveth fast unto him, and now that he lieth, he shall rise up no more. Nine, ye, my own familiar friend, in whom I trusted, which did eat of my bread, hath lifted up his ears against me. Ten, but thou, O Lord, be merciful unto me, and raise me up, that I may requite them. Eleven, by this I know that thou favorest me, because my enemies doth not triumph over me. And at twelve, as a, and as for me, thou upholdest me in my integrity, and settest me before thy face forever. Thirteen, blessed be the Lord God of Israel, for everlasting and everlasting. Amen. Thank you. 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 and the mother of the day representing represented by Mrs. Obushi Emmanuel. That is Ajia Mami. So much. Mommy, you're welcome. A round of applause for her. Also in our midst, we want to recognize uh, our daddy uh, in the Lord who is also in our midst. Uh, Reverend Professor Doctor Binga Onoso Daddy, you are welcome, sir. A round of applause for Daddy. Daddy, you are welcome. Okay, you don't use the uh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Daddy. Uh, we uh, we have in our midst Reverend Prophetess Modupe Sneva of AKA God's Way. Mommy. You are welcome. Uh, in our midst, we have a man of God uh, from the sea and this church. Most special apostle father from Agebe. Also, our mommy, uh, prophetess Olo Kere, aka Ajunoma Kumoni. You are welcome. Also, uh, I want to use this uh, opportunity to recognize our mommy, Mrs. Bolaji from Lagos State. You. Mommy, you are welcome. Also, uh, the area commander uh, who is uh, represented here uh, by Mr. Jonathan. Igwemi, Igwemi. Mr. Jonathan is the SO of Area G. You are welcome, sir. Uh, I want to well, recognize the member of the press and other dignitaries that we have not uh, be able to get their, their names. Uh, immediately, we will get your names to we'll, we'll recognize you. You are welcome once again uh, for this wonderful day, the official launching. Really observed. Special greetings to our spiritual knows what could have happened if not for the quick and timely intervention of some of these um, orphanage and motherless babies' homes, just like this very one we had to do. And she said, on behalf of, now I am saying on behalf of my godmother, Hajia Lamil Tumaka, we commend your good works and um, we hope for a better collaboration in the near future. 
Thank you very much. All protocols really observed. My name is Miss Messi Ito. I'm the social worker of uh, Rockford Police Medical First of all, the duties of the social worker, the main duty of the social worker in an orphanage home is to ensure that every child in the home is free from abuse and neglect. And um, they should feel safe in the home despite not being their home of origin. That's actually the job of the social worker in an orphanage home. Um, the biography of Rock of Peace Motherless Home. Rock of Peace Motherless Home was founded by Mother Busola Messi Makondriola in the year 2021 with a vision and mission to demonstrate the love of God to the helpless, to the homeless, and the hopeless a wide range of psychosocial support, care, and protection. Rock of Peace Motherless Home is a non-profit, non-governmental organization, and a home for children with special needs and disabilities. It is fully registered with Lagos State Ministry of Youth and Social Development, registered under CAC, and um, also on that's the um, Association of Orphanage Homes in Nigeria. We work with Lagos State Social Welfare Department, Lagos State Family Court and Juvenile Welfare Department of Nigerian Police. The home came into existence on the sixth day of April 2021 with the admission of our first baby, Narike Nura who was abandoned at six months old and she's presently two years old with Down syndrome. Though we um, we were supposed to show the picture of their before and their after, but because of the rain and some technical issues, I'm sorry about that. Between April 2021 to present, we have admitted 11 children in Rock of Peace Motherless Home. Unfortunately, we lost a baby of two years old due to his illness of cerebral palsy in February 2022, after 10 months under our care. Presently, in Rock of Peace Motherless Home, we have nine children. We have six boys and three girls. Between the ages of one year to six years, with cerebral palsy, Down syndrome, hydrocephalus, and autism, respectively. Um, between um, April 2021 also, we, we had a um, um, recruitment of if, um, of a child. Um, his name his name is Peter. He has a um, global hypotonia, and um, we've been trying to put him in a school, but somehow we experience um, discrimination from schools because they are special children, and um, we also for this very child we also need them. Um, working aids for him because he can't really work very well but he's an intelligent child. Also in um, August 2021, we admitted a baby with spinal bifida and hydrocephalus. I don't know if I can explain how um, the spinal bifida and hydrocephalus is. It's um, the children with the big head and uh, a growth at the back. And um, immediately it was noticed, we took the baby to Lassoot. Several x-rays and scans were conducted with frequent clinic appointments. Um, and she was asked to, we, um, she was trans well, referred to see a neurosurgeon. And um, by December 2021, she was admitted and um, the surgery for the spinal bifida in January 21 was successful. In um, May, though she was still um, on admission in the hospital from January till May, because we insisted that the hospital 
should be done with everything before we bring the baby back to the home. So she was in the hospital for like about six months. And um, we later did the um, implantation of the ventricle, sorry, the ventriculoperitoneal shunts. It's called the VP shunts. That's an implantation of um, a tube in the head that will pass through to the neck, to the stomach. And um, recently, we realized that um, the baby started having an infection on that spot. And she was taken back to Lassut. And um, we were asked, we were given um, a date to come for the surgery, which we pray at the end of the day will be successful. Um, then um, our goal as a home, we have many of our children, we have the Down syndrome that are active, we have um, the cerebral palsy, we, we place them on medications often, they go, they see the physiotherapists, the, um, the physiotherapist comes to the orphanage home to see all the children. We also have um, um, the ones on monthly, regular appointments that we take to Lassus, to the hospital also. And often, or when I say, it actually costs a lot for the home to take care of special children. And in one way or the other, we thank God he's been faithful. And... Um, our goal as a home is to have a school for children with disabilities and special needs so that we won't have to take our children out of the orphanage home to um, other schools. Like I said earlier, most of the schools around actually discriminate our children. Once we go there seeking for admission, the first question they ask us is, are they normal or special? And with that, they tell us they don't have facilities to train special children, which is um, kind of like a delay to, to take care of or to take or to send them to the school to schools here. So our goal is to get um, a school with with um, that would take care of children with disabilities and special needs, so that the children present in the home can benefit a lot as they grow. Conclusion in though I'm done, and um, our prayer as a home is that God will continue to take care of every child in our care, strengthen the caregivers, and continue to provide for the founder of the home and all our mummies and our daddies that support us in one way or the other to put a smile on the faces of, the, of our children. May the Lord's provision and protection never cease from our household. Of a boss. That is uh, so. To do something down to Do something down. Jesus Christ, that was all it paid. Me, you talk or show, show the fair of home. You're a privilege. Oh, my God, I'm going to be on the Bless him, my wife. Praise the Lord. The joy in the Lord, the sadness in the community. It is not a pleasant story. Je me trouve tout le monde, 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 je me trouve tout le monde,
when I come. She mentioned a lot of uh, names, which my Bible says I should not mention in my name, in my mouth. It, they are terrible names. And you can easily see the reason why those children were abandoned. The parents cannot take care of them. Oh, you know, you told me one. Well, I do not see the call. If be that they were here, this is our nation. Look, I'm not going to go to the police report. We don't want to lose anybody. Oh, she needs to pay. The first year of my education was to some kind of attorney. Because this policy has become our policy. Ezekiel was asking me to stand in the gap. And my close honey, this is my sister. For ages, she just loves to do something for God. She said, We went to my close to God, I was so long. It's not all those who are putting on the robe, the, the, the color, but are patient. She's already patient. To use her resources to cater for abandoned children. You will be surprised. When the woman was reading the paper, I was expecting to hear the Lagos State has done this, the Lagos State has done this, the federal government has done this. They are not interested. That's why I said my standing out is with peace and sadness. America lost one person. Because of one person, they can destroy Nigeria. Because of one citizen. If a citizen of America is maltreated here, they can bomb this country. But here, along the road, you see dead, dead bodies. But the few of us that are here, God has appointed us to be here. We are blessed in heavenly riches. We may not have the worldly riches. Because the worldly riches has an ultimate end which nobody desires. But the heavenly blessings, like what our mother have said, 1,000 is heavenly blessing. Because if you remove 1,000 from 1 million, we can't call it 1 million again. It becomes point. Point nine 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 nine. It's not more one million. So, I want us to continue to pray for this woman. The love for humanity to take up an assignment, a kingdom assignment like this. It's a kingdom assignment. It is an assignment that she can never be rewarded on the earth. The reward is there, and we know the reward is eternal life, and you will not miss it in Jesus' name. And one more year. Yes, we want to see only a new joy or shame. We have got to be a little more important. That one they mentioned in Lut in the hospital, I was there. I was there to see what was going on. A small boy with so much oppression. Small. Look at what they are saying. They are passing one from head to the For a small boy. But you can see something is happening there. God is at work. For that small boy. That God could allocate somebody to take care of that very child in seven days. It's not something that can easily be done with the flesh. I was there, I saw her running here and there. I stood by the child. I was just saying, no to God. Well, let's continue to encourage her every day. There are a lot of people that have been coming here, I'm sure, because of my post. On my ministry post, the name is there. There was even somebody who called me sometimes, two months ago. He said, ah, that name you gave on the, for the house, I, I, I couldn't get it to. I just made the test. I sent the test to, to him. And I'm sure he must have done something. Let's use the name of this orphanage and spread it to our friends. You don't, they don't need to tell you that I'm doing this or not. Just spread the name so that they can pay something in or they can bring something in for them, for the children and God will be with us all and I know God the author and finisher of our faith the creator of heaven and heart 
we surely continue to strengthen her, we continue to lift her up. We will not be tired, we will not be weary. Blessings will be coming. People whom you don't know, they will come and come and help you in the assignment. Eternity is our goal, we will it. In Jesus' name, thank you very much.